In this video, we're going to show you why the 4-3 even 6-1 might just be the best defense in Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. Also, wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook, you can get my full defense by joining our Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below so that you can do that. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden uh, 22 and all of my Madden 23 def offensive and defensive ebooks. As long as you're a member, uh, again, the link is down in the description below. We got a full ebook on the 4-3 even 6-1 defense if you want to check that out. But I just want to show you a simple setup here. What I like about this defense is it is really simple to run. We're going to put our option defense on conservative. We're going to put our auto alignment set to base. And then what I like to do is actually turn auto flip off. And we're going to run this on flip. Uh, so we're just going to flip the play just like this. And then we're going to show you against the gun bunch why this is one of the best blitzes in Madden. And uh, you can do this really easily. So what I like to do, and this is why I think this is going to be such a good defense, especially in Madden 22. The deep half zone is one of the better zones in the game. So the other thing that's really nice about this formation is if I show blitz, You'll see that this is kind of like 3-4 odd in the fact that these safeties come down in the box really well. And then all I have to do to set up the blitz is just blitz all of my linebackers. And then I actually like to shift my D-line to the left side. So as you can see here, we're just going to shift it just like this. It just creates a little bit better of a gap here for your user to loop down. And you'll see here I'll get really easy double edge pressure at the quarterback. One of the other things that I think is really underrated about this defense is the fact that the defense, the way the blitz concept works, is it comes in really, really fast. You'll see that the, the players just get there quickly. That's another one of the key pieces of this defense. Now, uh, I want to show you something else that you can do with zone drops in this defense um, to make it even better. And that is to create essentially a Mabel look. Um, you can kind of change up what your flats are on. But we're going to put our curl flats on zero and our hook curls on five. And then whatever we want to put our, our cloud flats on or our, our flats on, uh, we can do that. But if we know that we want to play some coverage, I love this setup right here that I'm about to show you. So they basically have to block at least, um, a, at least one person. So again, here you see we just slide to the left side. Um forgot to flip the play if you forget to flip the play you can just flip it at the line of scrimmage and it just moves the line a little bit changes the blitz angles but you'll see here that if i block my running back a lot of times this blitz will still continue to come in they'll get instant sheds as well even if they do even if you do block the, the blitz so another thing that i like to do with this is put my flats on 25 or 30 this is going to stop any deep corners or crossers and then all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz we're going to blitz our linebackers shift our d-line so we're just going to come from this blitz look and what i love to do is just put both d ends in purples and put the defensive tackle that is on the wide side of the field into a vertical hook the vertical hook is really good if it's going to the wide side of the field and it's on five yards and then if you want to you can bluff blitz but i like to leave a three-man rush and what you'll see is this is a real simple play but look how fast these edge rushers are going to get at the quarterback, even though we're only sending two people at or uh, three people at the pass rusher. So this is one of the best defense in the game for a variety of different reasons. But really another uh, one is we can actually Mabel. Let's say that we're not too worried about the, the, you know, let's say we're not worried about them blocking somebody. We can just drop one defensive end and only send five. And you'll see a lot of times this pressure will still come completely free on the opposite side of the running back. So that's one of the things that makes this so good. It's really a simple look and you can get double pressure with very simple adjustments. You don't have to do a lot. If you don't want to slide, you don't have to. You'll see here the blitz will still come in on both sides even if we don't slide. So this is one of my favorite defenses going into Madden 23. I'd really encourage you to learn this. I think that this defense has a lot of value to bring. Um, it was really good in Madden 22. I think arguably it could have been considered the best defense in Madden 22. But I think in Madden 23, because deep halves play significantly better, because blitz pressure is a lot better, and with how fast this blitz gets on you, this defense has a lot of potential. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my full 4-3, even 6-1 defensive ebook, the link is down in the description below.